for Doxo, denying obvious goal scoring opportunity. All of these four conditions must be present, all four, okay? Control of the ball or likelihood of controlling the ball, okay? Control of the ball means the ball's right at my feet and I'm going with it. What is the likelihood of a control of the ball? A ball that is rolling on the ground with a nice pace and I'm moving toward it and if I'm not fouled, guess what? I am arriving to that ball and I have it. It's mine. Good? As opposed to a ball that's maybe coming in the air with a bounce and we're not sure. Likelihood, yes, no. And the key word here, if you are not sure 100%, you go which way? Go down, go down. So each one of these that we're talking about, 100% sure. Defenders, number and location, okay? Where is the defender, how many, and where is the location? So always be, uh, be talking about last one, other defenders, yes or no? Distance to goal, okay? This is again is with the feeling for you. The closer to the penalty area, the more the, uh, closer you are. The further away, you start maybe going into the gray zone. And finally, direction of play. Direction of play, are we going in this funnel, in the funnel toward the goal, or we're moving away from the goal? So take a look. And you take the picture at the moment that the fall is happening. That's the picture that you take. Okay? What do you think? Control? Yeah. For sure, control. How about the direction? Yeah. How about the defenders, the location, and the number? Yeah? yeah? What is missing? Distance. What do you think about the distance? Yeah. What do you think about the distance? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So you have all four situation. What is your decision on this one? Red card. Easy one. Okay. You think this player is going to get here? Is that what you're... You think this player is going to get here? She's already on the ground. If she wasn't taken down... This is the moment you take the picture. Okay? So this is an easy decision to make. And for new changes to the law, outside the penalty area, nothing's changed. Outside the penalty area, exact same as before, nothing's changed. So keep your mind clean from any doubts. Outside, nothing's changed, okay? Inside, some things have changed. So we look at it. So the pass is being made here. Control of the ball? No. Likelihood of the control of the ball? Distance of him to this ball, where the goalkeeper is, and also the pace of the ball also. You have to look at the pace of the ball. If the ball is played very heavily, okay, a heavy shot, a heavy ball with a lot of force, and it's going to go here to the goalkeeper immediately, what do you say? Ah, likelihood of the control is not there. If you don't have the likelihood of the control, what happens? Okay, 
All bets are off for Doxo. So immediately you go to yellow card, okay? But if in your opinion, the likelihood of the control is there, you have that. Defenders and numbers and location, okay? Pretty much last one because he's going, okay? Direction, okay? Distance, all right. So you have all of those four. Not for this video, but for any video so you can start analyzing in that way. Fair enough? Okay, a couple of more and then I think you're good to go. Doxo or no Doxo? What is missing here? Exactly. Number of defenders, location of defenders. Here this player, this defender has a chance to come in to play the ball. And we said, if you're not 100% sure, you do what? You go down one. You eliminate this player, Photoshop, and say, bup, 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 out, put him here. The decision changes or no? The decision changes, goes into, into a red. Okay? And Doxo or no doxo? Okay? So now let's go to the new changes in the law. Okay? New changes in the law. We said outside the penalty area, nothing's changed. Inside the penalty area, what I want you to do is first and foremost think yellow card. You have all four, all four conditions for doxo, right? You have all four conditions for doxo. The distance, the direction, number of defenders, control of the ball. My advice to you is immediately think yellow, 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 okay? So that's your first instinct, yellow, okay? And as you coming with the yellow, you say, was it a pull, push, or a hold? Was it a pull, push, or a hold? Okay? And if it's a pull, push, or a hold, guess what? Nothing's changed. Okay? S from before. So pull, push, hold. You're thinking yellow. Decision is yellow, 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 but wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is that? Okay? That's a hold. Okay? Sorry, I was thinking yellow, but I see the hold, so I have to change my color. Boom. Red card. Good? Or, or the player makes, goes for, for a tackle, goes to trip the player, okay? And has no chance to play the ball. Basically, no attempt to play the ball. So what are we talking about? If it looks like that I'm trying to play the ball, even a resemblance of playing the ball, I'm going into a challenge. What color do we want? Yellow. Yellow. Remember the spirit of the game. Why was the, <coughs> this put into place? Triple punishment. Triple punishment. Coaches don't want it. Players don't want it. So any attempt that looks like I'm playing the ball or I'm going for the ball, go yellow and you'll be okay. Which ones you want red? The ones that the player has absolutely no chance of playing the ball. Okay? So Michael, come on up. So Michael is with the ball at his feet, going to goal, okay? And I, the ball is, not, not that far, it is. <laughs> I can't, okay? And the ball is over here. And as he's trying to go, what do I do? I trip him, bring him down. I don't have a chance to play that ball. I'm making no attempt. My only goal is to bring him down. And when we're talking about the, this in more complex, I will show you situations like that. Thank you. Fair enough? So there you go yellow. Uh, sorry, you go red. Okay? What else? I was just wondering, has there been like a lot of debate and pushback on the attempt to play the ball with like referees?
these players and coaches to make up? That? Not really. For us, if it's not 100% clear, 100% clear that the player, it's the last stitch. I mean, there's nothing else. Either you go or the ball go. Okay, that type of thing, you go red. If one iota of maybe yes, maybe no, guess what? Yellow. The game will buy it, the players will buy it, the coaches will buy it, there's no problem. Much easier to defend that yellow than if you go red and it's not. Make sense? Okay, what else hasn't changed? Serious, if it was a serious foul play type of a tackle, okay, red card anywhere else in the field, there, same, red. Handball, anything's changed? Nothing's changed with the handball. So really the only two or three things that you have to look at is, I'm thinking yellow, I'm thinking yellow, I'm thinking yellow. With the handballs, nothing changed, so that's a red card. With serious foul play tackles, you know, blah, 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 blah. Anything that would have been red before, nothing changed, okay? If it's a pull, push, hold, I go from, I go from a yellow to red. And again, a player who has no chance to play the ball. Is it clear? Is it good guidelines for you to carry with you? Okay, so my job is to make your job easier. And be consistent, so across the board, whether we do games in, I don't know, Alaska, Arizona, or Texas, or, you know, exact same way, exact same way. And one of the benefits we have in the, all the tournaments of FIFA, we go to the teams before the tournament, and we have a team arrival meeting with videos. With videos, just like this. And we show it, and say, so you do this? This one's a red card. And I tell the players, I'm here today to, not, not to teach you laws of the game, no, no, no. I'm here for your benefit to save you a stupid yellow card that you don't need, okay? Because if you understand it, and they say, Believe me, I know there are times when you need to take a card for your team. We're not stupid, we know that, okay? You need to take a card. I'm here to help you eliminate a stupid yellow card. And the players buy it, and we have back and forth. We have uh, input from them, feedback. We go back, we talk to the refereeing department. We have the technical study group, the coaches, players. This is what the players want. This is what they want. This is what coaches think. And it's good because we're coming closer together. And we're coming up with certain guidelines that makes the laws of the game easier for us to defend, to apply, and for them to understand. So we're bringing this two group closer together. 